So coming to question number 119, Nish. Now this term Nish, it was given by the scientist Grinnell. So let's look at the option number two first, the physical space where an organism lives. This is not related with the Nish, it is related with the habitat. Now coming to first option, all the biological factors in the organism environment. So when we talk about habitat, it is not only the physical space, it also includes biological factors which organism experience in that environment. So again, it is related to the habitat. What is Nish? It is the functional role played by the organism where it lives. It is just like bio data of an organism that whether organism is a producer, consumer, decomposer, all this represent functional role of organism. This Nish is known as functional Nish and sometimes it is also known as trophic level Nish. So the right answer for this question is option number three. So now moving to question number 120 now. Coming to question number 120, in stratosphere which of the following elements acts as a catalyst in degradation of ozone and release of molecular oxygen? This is very simple question. You know this very well that chlorine atoms, they are highly reactive. They work like catalyst and they cause breakdown of ozone molecules. So the answer to this question is option number two. So let's move on to the question number 121. Which type of ecological pyramid would be obtained with the following data? Now you know that first trophic level is formed by primary producers that is plants. Yes, biomass is 10 gram minimum here. Primary producers, they are feeded upon by primary consumers. Biomass is relatively more. It forms second trophic level and secondary consumers which in turn eat primary consumers biomass at this level T3 is maximum. So if we make pyramid here keeping T1 at the base and T3 at the top it means such type of pyramid would be obtained. Yes, so what do you call such type of shape of pyramid as it is inverted shape? So the right answer for this question is option number one. Right. So now let's discuss question number 122 now. 